Yo, what's happening, everybody? Welcome to Tanner Does Tech, where tech swag and life just ain't the motto. It's pretty much the way things are done around here. All right, everybody, are y'all on deck? Are you ready? Well, all right, let's get this intro busting. Let's go. Yo, what's happening, everybody? It's the bad boy of tech. Dan Tanner and people I got some more smoke for you right here today yes indeed just like that car over there I got some smoke for you <laughs> yes sir yes sir this is another OBS tutorial this is my settings as of October 2017 because Windows 10 had a few updates and upgrades and everything since my last settings video and yeah it affected the way I use OBS so don't even worry or stress I got you you know what I'm saying I'm gonna go ahead and give you that heat now first, I gotta give you the specs of the, of, of the laptop that I'm using. I'm using a Dell laptop, which has eight gigs of RAM, and it's pushing a Core i5 processor by Intel. Yes, indeed, people. Um, of course, I got Windows 10 on deck, but I gotta give you those specs right there so you can know what's what. So if you're pushing a computer or laptop that has like four gigs of RAM, it might not work as good for you as it would with somebody with eight gigs or more. You know what I'm saying? So. I don't want to see no comments or anything like that saying, well, my computer's not working and it's got four gigs of RAM. Nah, nah, nah. Your goddamn Tanner just kept it 100 with you. I just kept it a whole band and let you know that I'm rocking with eight gigs of RAM right here, you know? But I do got videos in my playlist of my channel. You know what I'm saying? The OBS Tutorials playlist. Just click on that. Go to the May 27, um, 2017 um, settings or previous and everything. And you'll be taken care of. I got you. I got something for everybody who rocks OBS. No doubt about it. Well, people, enough of me yapping. Let's go ahead and open up this OBS. Let's go. All right. I'm going to go to settings. Open that up. Now, right now, people, I'm in the general settings tab. And pretty much it's standard. Only thing I changed in here was the theme. So I changed it dark. That's it. All right. As the screen. Let's go to the screen tab, rather. And right here, you know, this is where... You go ahead and select if you're using YouTube or Twitch or something like that and put in your stream key for your channel. You know, standard stuff, nothing special. But here's where the magic starts happening. We're gonna go to the output tab. Let's go. All right, people. Now I got the output mode up here on, the, on advanced at the top. I got the, the streaming key, I mean the streaming tab, excuse me, click because that's what I'm focused on right now. I use two audio tracks, so I selected, I selected two. Most people use one. Hey, whatever, however, however many audio tracks you need, go ahead and select them. It is what it is. Now, as far as my encoder, I use QuickSync H.264. Or if you don't have that, just select, you know, say X264. Pretty much the same thing and everything like that. You should be all right. Now, as far as the rescale output, I didn't select it. No, sir. Didn't have to. Ain't no need to. I'm going to explain later. All right, cool. Now, my target usage is balanced. Yes, indeed. My profile is set to high. My keyframe interval is at one. You know what I'm saying? My async depth is at four. My rate control, I selected CBR, that's constant bit rate, and my bit rate is 3,500. Yes, indeed, people. These settings, if you need to go ahead and pause the video to see what's what, then go ahead and do that and make that happen. You know what I'm saying? Now, let's go ahead to this recording tab so I can show you these settings. Now, the type, at the top, I got selected is standard. You know what I'm saying? I got my recording path set the way I want to set. My recording format is MP4. That's the most universal standard um, format there is. So as far as my audio tracks, I got them selected. I'm using two. My encoder, my, my encoder, excuse me. I got the same one that I'm using for streaming, which is the QuickSync H.264, which is pretty cool. And that's also a, a cool thing to do. Make sure that your, enco your encoders match. You know what I'm saying? So it could be effortless and flawless whether you're streaming or recording. You know what I mean? My rescale output, I don't have selected and everything. Now to the bottom where it says target usage, got it on balance. Got my profile on main. My keyframe interval, I got that set to one. My async depth is at four. My rate control, I selected CBR again, but my bit rate this time since I'm recording and not going live is at 50,000. Yes, indeed. That's why it's crispy, crispy, crispy when I stream. 
<laughs> Trust me, yes indeed, yes indeed. It looks almost 4K, but it's not, people. I'm giving you guys all the secrets, yes indeed. All right, let's click this audio tab. My sample rate, I got a 44.1. You know what I'm saying? I could go to 48 if I felt like it, but nah, it's cool. If you can understand me, that's good enough for me. But that's my personal taste. Now let's go down to where it says mic auxiliary audio device. I get it on Realtek Audio or whatever your, your mic is, set it on there or whatever. So whenever you open up uh, a new scene or a new scene, uh, screen select, a scenes collection or whatever, your mic will always be set up. So always have your mic auxiliary device set to the one that you use all the damn time. So it won't be no mix ups or nothing like that. And whatever other audio devices or different mics or whatever, just put them on two or three so it won't be confused and mixed up anything and everything comes out mad, crisp, and clear. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now let's go to the video section, people. Now, my base canvas resolution, I'm rocking is 1080p. My output scale resolution is at 1080p. But here's the thing right here. My downscale filter is at Lincanzos. Yes, indeed. 32 samples, people. Yep, yep, yep. But check this out. A lot of people will tell you to use your common FPS values. They they probably tell you to use 60 frames per second, but not me. I'm using 30. <laughs> and it still comes out crystal clear with no hiccups or anything. You know what I'm saying? And it's easier on your computer. So trust me, if you need to freeze this part, do that. It might be grayed out. J -j -just, just stay still and concentrate. It's there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I got you. No question about it. So go ahead and pause it if you need to and go over those damn specs right there. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, let's go down to the advanced section of right here. I'm not going to do the hotkeys because I don't have any set up. Now, I got my process priority set on normal. I got my renderer, Direct 3D 11. Yes, indeed. I got my color format, NV12. Got my YUV color space set at 709, but I got my UV color range on full because a lot of people leave their leave theirs on partial. Damn that. You're gonna get all the real colors that I'm showing you. Period. 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 That's what you deserve. Yes indeed. As far as the audio section, I didn't bother that. Left that on default, on default and everything. And pretty much everything below that is standard. You know what I'm saying? So that's pretty much it. You know? It's just that simple, people. Streaming ain't easy all the time, but I try to simplify it as much as I can. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Man, oh, man, oh, man, people. So I hope that helps you a whole lot. You know what I'm saying? It's like there's a few settings that change a little bit, but it makes a world of difference. Just look at this here. It is what it is. Yes, indeed. So, people, if you got any more questions or anything, just comment below. You know what I'm saying? And at the same time, if you like what you saw and like what you heard, please give your boy a thumbs up because that's official. And I appreciate that for sure. And if you have not yet subscribed to my channel to feel the whole swag and madness of Dan Tanner, then do that too because that's also official. And I appreciate that too. All right, everybody. Huh? Get money. Get respect and enjoy your tech, be easy.